Well, there is a new president in College Park. WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler talked to the new head of the University of Maryland about what Daryl Pines describes as the two pandemics he is facing. Hey, Paul. Hi, Nicole. So Dr. Pines first day was on the job to, uh, yesterday and he was greeted with budget cuts affecting him and other university system presidents. That is just the start of challenges posed by the pandemic and how the university will address campus safety this fall. Hello all and thank you for taking the time. Dr. Darrell Pines first press conference looks a lot like how classes wrapped up this spring, but UMD's new president says the university is preparing to bring students and staff back in the fall. We're excited about the possibility of bringing back our population so that students can have high quality experiences. Pine says they'll work with state and local health departments, but there's no threshold on when in-person classes might stop. Students will be asked to fill out screenings every day they come to campus. The university will also perform environmental monitoring, testing both air quality pathogens and wastewater. Wastewater comes out of our buildings because often there's an early warning signal that COVID-19 may appear in the wastewater streams. The university's budget was slashed significantly Wednesday as well in response to statewide revenue shortfalls. Pine says furloughs and pay cuts are likely, but his goal is no one gets laid off. We are going to uh, make sure that the academic and research mission of the university is preserved despite the budget cuts. In recent weeks, we have again witnessed acts of violence perpetrated against the black community. In his introduction video Wednesday, Pines described another pandemic of racial injustice. He says new residence halls will be named for black and Asian alumni, while also announcing university police will return military surplus equipment. The Black Lives Matter movement is really a call to action to really raise the bar on social justice. Back live now. Another big topic today, the issue of athletics, notably football in the fall. Dr. Pine says he and other Big Ten presidents have met a couple times already, and it's his hope a decision will be made on athletics in the next three to four weeks. But Dr. Pine says stadiums on game days at best will be at a reduced capacity. For now, reporting live tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.